was May playing the intro. Thank you, May. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. It is Friday. It just makes me cry. I just love that song. I could listen to that song all day long over and over and over. It is just beautiful to me. Um, I decided to come on a little late today uh, with Bible study because Chris went for a walk and I actually fell asleep. <laughs> so I'm doing it now. Um, I was talking to you guys the other day on Real Southern Woman about one reason that I decided to actually read the Bible was because I always felt like I was a very wise person. And, uh, I mean, I was pretty conceited, to tell you the truth, when I was growing up, and I thought I was really smart. And so, um, after I met Chris, and he started talking to me a little bit, and I realized, according to the Bible, that wisdom was the fear of the Lord, uh, I realized that I really wasn't a wise person at all, because I really didn't know that much about God and His Word. Even if I was a Christian, I, I didn't have a lot of knowledge. So, um, according to his word, the wisdom, actually, that we have comes from his word and not from our knowledge of this world or what we learn in this world. And so, I decided to share with y'all what made me interested in learning about God. Now, I knew who God was, and I knew... Um, who Jesus was, and I knew what salvation was, but I didn't really uh, have a lot of knowledge with his word, okay? And it's important that we have some, and I'm going to tell you, um, one thing that interested me very much was the fact that Solomon was a king, and Solomon was the wisest man that ever lived on the earth, okay? And Solomon actually wrote the Proverbs, which are wonderful. And um, the reason he was this wise, because God gave him his wisdom, okay? So I want to talk to you a little bit about what happened when this happened. And it says, And Solomon said, Thou hast showed unto thy servant David, my father, great mercy, according as he has walked before thee in truth and in righteousness and an uprightness of heart with thee, and thou hast kept him from this great kindness that thou hast given him to a son to sit on the throne. Um, he tells the Lord that he's but a little child, and um, he's at, this is what he asked God. He says, Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this so great a people? So he did it because he was interested in um, making sure that if he judged the people that he ruled, that he was going to do a good job. Okay? So his heart was in the right place. And it says um, the, that his speech pleased the Lord, and that Solomon that at, that Solomon asked this to him asked this, and God said, because thou hast asked this thing and has not asked for thyself long life, neither has asked riches for thyself, nor hast thou asked the life of thine enemies, but has asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a wise an understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. Now, what God says here, y'all, is that Solomon, God gave him this heart that none had ever had before Solomon, and none would ever have after Solomon. Solomon Solomon was amazingly filled with wisdom, and he was filled with wisdom by God, which is just wonderful. 
Um, so I wanted to talk to you about that because Solomon was a very wise man, okay? And he was wise not because he was just smart, but because God also gave him good wisdom of heart, which is God's wisdom, okay? So if you flip over in this first Kings five, let's say first Kings four, it says, And God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding exceeding much. And largest of the heart, even as the sand that is on the seashore. That's something else, ain't it? And it says that Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the children of the East Country and all the wisdom of Egypt. For he was wiser than all men. Okay? Now this says that wisdom in the Old Testament begins with the fear of the Lord. As in Proverbs 1.7 which says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And let me look that up because I want to read it to y'all real quick. I had it on my computer. Let me see if it's still up. Come on, computer. Wake up. So, um, no, I, I'm... I'm bored, dude. Anyway, um, it talks about how the wisdom of the world is not wisdom, okay? Um, but it also says that why Solomon wrote most of the Proverbs, okay? As for the songs, two psalms he wrote was 72, Psalm 72 and 127, and the Song of Solomon are traditionally ascribed to Solomon. Solomon has also been credited traditionally with the writing of Ecclesiastes. Because of his vast knowledge and wisdom, his literary productions cover every area of life. And Solomon is therefore sought out by people from all areas. Solomon's prestige and honor grew all the more. And he became identified with wisdom itself. Now, the reason I brought that up is because um, if you find, if you think that you're wise or you feel like that um, you know a good bit or you feel like you're smart with books or you feel like you're smart with worldly things or if you feel like that you have prospered because you yourself have worked hard and you and you mainly give yourself credit for being wise because this is the way I was I thought I was wise because I wanted to be wise I thought I was wise and smart and that I worked hard and that's why I got the things I did and that I deserved them uh, but where I was wrong was um, that is not what wisdom is. And we are not able to do anything unless God lets us. He allows us to be smart or he allows us to be healthy enough to have a job or he allows us to have a brain that's smart enough to do something like be an engineer or a scientist or whatever it is we want to do. Um, we cannot do anything unless he allows it. And so what we have to do as people is realize that we have to humble ourselves and give him the credit because without him, um, there's really nothing that we can do um, without him, you know, without his blessing, in other words. So even if you think you're wise or even if you think that you're in control of your life, uh, the truth is you're really not. Um, there's an almighty God out there, and he is the one that's full of wisdom and power and glory, and he's the one that we should fear. If you do not fear the Lord, I suggest you realize that the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. And once you start figuring out that he is who he, who he says he is, he is who others say he is, and you realize who you are compared to him, and you start to fear him, 
um, then you will gain wisdom. And the more wisdom you gain, the more blessings you will gain from the Lord. Okay. So I just wanted y'all to know um, how much I love him, um, how much he means to me, how much he's blessed my life, how much his wisdom through the word that I've read has changed my life, has uh, made me uh, uh, full of um, joy, peace, um, all the fruits of the spirit that he gives us. Um, I just wanted to let you know how much I love him, how much I care about him, how much he cares about me, how much he cares about you. Um, I pray that if you do not know much about the Lord, that you will take the time to pick up the Bible and read about Solomon, read about first, read in first Kings, read in the Proverbs, um, realize that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And you will be so blessed that you'll be so happy um, that I ever told you such. Um, and I know people talk about the Lord all the time, but uh, we don't talk about him enough. We don't testify enough because if we do, we're considered to be holy rollers. And you know what? That's not what we are. We're just people who love the Lord. We should all love him enough to talk about him and brag on him. And brag about what he's done in our lives. Um, I hope y'all have a blessed afternoon. I am about to make supper. Uh, Chris just came in from his evening walk. So um, we will say our prayer and then I will see you soon. Thanks for watching the Bible study today. This is uh, Dear Lord Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for your word. And we thank you for your guidance. And we thank you for letting us know that the fear of the Lord is wisdom. We thank you for letting us know that your wisdom is totally different than worldly wisdom. We thank you for um, giving us your book so that we can pick it up and find out what's in there and that we can live a life to uh, honor you. Just be with each and every one of us as we go throughout the rest of our day. May you bless each and every one of our viewers and um, thank you for being our God, our Father. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a wonderful afternoon.